He is cursed. Oh, you're a coward then. Absolute coward. Oh, come on, man. He's, he's a little, he's a sleepy little boy. Uh, I gotta yeah. sleep in, man. <laughs> That's just the sweet way to call him a degen, you know? You guys could just say it straight up. It's, it's all right. See, no I, got here. At, I got up at seven o'clock to go do swim practice. So. Yeah, this guy was probably going to bed at seven o'clock, to be honest with you. <laughs> I yeah. wish. Yeah. No, I snoozed out at three. Right. Sean's right. an old man. Yeah. No, I'm wait, not. wait. I, the old yeah, old men are not old men are not supposed to be degens, though. You got this backwards. Yeah. Oh. Wait, how 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 old are you, Sean? I'm 17. Oh my gosh, this guy. How old Dude, are the rest of you guys? I, you don't mind me asking. 16. 16. Okay. It, it, it's a high school team, so it's all oh, 16. Oh, this is this is all a high school team. Oh, no wonder you guys are so degenerate. You know, there's science behind that. Actually, there's science behind that. The uh, your 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 circadian rhythm. Is like a full hour, two hours behind like old people like me. Actually, old people like me. That's why For you guys sure, tend to say it more. So you know, you, you could just use that as, yeah, this Excuse. adult to tell your parents. Yeah, exactly. Just be like, yo, my this guy told me, and then be like, who? And, and then you just kind of like mumble, and you're the like, video game coach. I don't know. Like, then, yeah, I'll say, I don't know. If I can tell them that the video game coach told me that, man. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. I always love when people ask me what I do for work, and I always have Dude, to change I, the subject. I have to convince them, like, hey, son, what do you, what do you, what do you do on Tuesdays? Oh, um, I, I, I play video games. I, you know, <laughs> like, I like put my fingers together, you know, like anime style. <laughs> I kind of go oh, like I play no. video games. Yeah, they yeah, watch yeah. the they watch the streams, but man, do they not understand it? Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. I mean, All Overwatch right. is a pretty confusing game as well. So, okay, let me yeah, uh, let me get oh. y'all's form pulled up here, and we'll go. So, high school team, you guys are yeah, plat I, average, right? Uh, yeah, I didn't do the codes. Oh, um, it's very up and down. So, like me and Shibalon are higher rank, or at least okay. I'm higher rank. Shibalon can play higher rank. I'll say that uh, he, has, he has played comp in a while, um, mm-hmm. but then there are like people like uh, Liam and Xavier here who like you know they're, they they they're playing with us, but their rank is not as high. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. It's like, just a nice way to say up, that they suck. Like, what, what's the deal? Again? Yeah, yeah, basically, basically. Okay, basically. okay no judgment I don't here. Like, again. Play comp. I've been trying to a lot more. No, I respect it. I respect it. And you got we got to play with Sean. I'm sure that's pretty super demotivating as well. Um, okay. Okay. Um, okay, just so we're, so so we're, on this, we're, on, we're on the same page here. Um, okay, so let's just go down the list here. Uh, introduce, I, I guess all y'all's names are here, so we don't have to go through that. But just tell me, like, tell me like your role, um, starting with Isaac, I guess. What Isaac do you mean frantically by, like, what, fumbles. My role? Like, what do you play <laughs> when we're role. scrimmaging? Oh, okay. See, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm DPS. I play mostly, like, Ash and Widowmaker, occasionally yes. some Tracer, but scan, okay. mostly hit scan. Yeah. Types, yeah. When I mean role, I don't mean like you know when you role play. Like, what do you uh, do? Are you cheerleader? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Okay, I see. Yeah. He might. Oh, oh, oh. oh hello, hello, hello. Yeah, what's up? Uh, what do I need to introduce again? I'm sorry. You're good. You're good. Good. Um, what do you play in game? Uh, this semester I have been playing DPS. I've just been flexing across DPS, mainly playing Junkrat and Genji. Okay. Are we, sure that, of, uh, are we sure that Sean is the DJ in here? Okay. Um, <laughs> all right, bud. All damn, right. Damn, damn. <laughs> Listen, Junkrat damn. and Genji. That's, that's, that's opposite ends of the spectrum. Low skill DJ and high skill DJ. We're, we're off to a great start. Um, so that's enough. <laughs> yeah, I really did. I figured it. All right, Liam, your role, mate. Um, I've been playing support with Kiriko and Anna. Kiri, Anna. Okay. It's about. To say Lucio, which is the main one he plays. Oh, yeah, Lucio. Yeah, Lucio as well. Admitting to playing Lucio is like admitting to have a contagious disease. Sean? Yeah, really. <laughs> I'm main tank for the... like. Oh, okay, I'm so used to saying main tank still. I, I play tank I for the you. team. Tank. I just play kind of whatever tank we need for the comp except for Ball and Diva. I hate Diva. those two. But other than okay. that, I can play most of the tanks. Hates skillful uh, lately, tanks. Got it. Lately, Sigma, Maga, Arissa. Lately. Yeah. This guy says he don't play, doesn't play ball diva. I want to play Reinhardt so bad, though. I want to play Reinhardt so bad. <laughs> uh, the, 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 you guys are not beating the DJ allegations. I'm just saying that's all I'm going to say here. We've got uh, one guy that maybe plays Tracer, and that's all we've got going for y'all. Okay, uh, Tim, what do you got? Um, uh, so I play support. Um, okay. The main ones I've been playing this year has been Bab. And, well, I'm a Brig main, but they never let me, let me play it. So You've been getting a lot more chances to play. Reverse break. Have you considered physical assault so that you can play <laughs> what you'd like? 
I, mean, I, I don't, don't know how big you are. Oh, no, I mean, I well, I, I am probably the biggest person on the team. Obviously. Ah, see, there you go. Leverage that. Leverage that. Yeah. So we, it's all about playing to your strengths, guys. It's all about playing to your strengths. Okay. Um, Xavier. Uh, I play tank. Uh, I've been playing Ramatra and Sigma this season. Okay. So how do you break up time with uh, Sean? How do I break up time with Sean? Um, yeah. looks. Go ahead, go ahead. If I'm being completely honest, the harder matches go to Sean, the easier stuff goes to me just for experience. Makes sense. Makes sense. Is that just because like we're trying to everyone have a little bit of play time here? But priorization. Well, yeah. our, our season's going to playoffs very soon, so all the matches are getting harder and harder. So he's getting less time. But that like sucks. first semester, he got put in like crap done. Okay. Okay. That sounds good. good. What's the rank discrepancy between you two? <laughs> I don't think Xavier has a rank yet, but if I had yeah, to say, I'd to say gold three to ma gold three for him, masters two oh, for me. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Um, yeah, I guess just quick question then, like uh, estimated rank. So we said gold Xavier around masters for Sean. What is the average rank for each of you? Just quickly, like a, a quick estimate for the role that you play. I'm high plat. Plat, Kim. Okay. Isaiah, uh, I ranked in at gold, so <laughs> that was a long time ago. I haven't played. Them. Do you think I'll that you've improved really since then? Um, so, so last time I played with Jacob, he played with us last year. He is a GM. Mm -hmm. He was saying I was probably around Masters. Okay. I'd say that too. Okay. Isaiah, Liam? I've been getting into gold lobbies. Great. Well done. I've been, Here. I've been stuck in gold lobbies forever. Okay. Yeah, so about plat average, plat average. Okay, sounds good. So, all that being said, the floor is laid, the red carpet's out. What got you guys interested in coaching? Because you only scrimmage about once a month, so... Yeah, so the whole coaching thing, we were having a lot of issues. We have one or two problem teams in the state that mess us up a lot. One mm -hmm. of them being Snyder, who we lose to every time. And mm -hmm. the other one, we should not have lost to, which is kind of why I decided, okay... Time to pull out the big guns, get some actually get some good coaching in here. So I decided I'd pull out some of the pocket fund coaching, and they said they'd be okay with it, you know, okay. waking okay. up whenever they had to. Sure. For sure. It because makes, you're a good coach, man. I appreciate it. Okay. So it makes sense. Now, the question is, is that how much improvement do you guys expect to get out of scrimmaging once per month? Not a lot, but it, it's what we have to do. We sure. only meet up for practices twice a week. Okay. What do you guys do for practice? <clears throat> Practice until season nine. We just play a practice. The comps. Okay, so we have a list of comps that we play for that, that, that we make. We, we usually spend a practice to make a comp or two, or like a couple comps to play through a season, and then we just play those in a quick play because you know we don't right. can't play comp together. Um, yeah, but that's usually what we just do. We just practice them in quick play over and over and over and over. Sometimes we'll do the scrim, like I said. <clears throat> We're probably gonna have see more scrims soon because we actually got a we got a good scrim partner recently, but okay. um, that's what we tend to do. Sure, and is it just basically quick play for an hour, twice a week, or what? Uh, it's I believe it won't, it's around depends two, on if Sean's playing with us or not. <laughs> it's two thirty to like four, but it takes okay. a minute to set up, so it's like two forty. It's like an hour and twenty per. So day. okay, so per day, and that's twice per week. Yeah. Mm. Five hours. Okay, we can work with that. <clears throat> it's better than nothing, you know. We it's, do, it, we, it, do, it we, do, we can do online, like at home. But thing is that if we're in person practice, we can enforce attendance. Mm -hmm. Like you know, if you don't go, you can't play next <clears throat> game, etc. But if you're at home, we can't enforce that. Yeah, so it's hard yeah, to get online sense. practices going. Makes sense. Makes sense. Now, well, how often do you guys have games? Is it just weekly tournaments? It's once a week. Once a week. And what day is that? Uh, Tuesdays, yeah, Tuesday. but that's practice goes longer for those days because games start at five, so it's an extra hour of practice on Tuesdays. Okay. What kind of stuff do you guys practice in quick plays? Just playing heroes, and do you have any specific goals in mind, or have you had goals in the past? Comps. Okay. Okay. Practicing so, comps and communication. What um, we usually do is yeah. Is, so we'll throw in the we'll throw them in a comp, and if I'm not in it, I'll watch see how they're doing, and then otherwise we just. Try. We have an objective for each comp, mm -hmm. so we have a uh, MAGA, we have a MAGA rush comp or dive. I don't know what mm -hmm. you want to call it. Um, mm -hmm. Where you go, MAGA Reaper Ash, Brig and Lucio. Yep. 
where Ash takes the side angle, Maga Reaper rush in. They both have extremely high, you know, self sustain. They rush in on a target, kill them, and then kind of fight from there. You know, the, and so the goal for the combo is get the get the first kill quick, etc. That's what we practice is getting that like kill. And then if we don't, yep. you know, what could we have done better, etc. Sure, sure, makes sense. Okay, okay, sounds good. Um, how has that practice been going recently? For MagaCom, pretty good actually. We we pulled it out in a scrim, I think actually this last week, and uh, we we got some really good success with it. We're okay. thinking about running a ball comp, but we haven't gotten much into that yet. Okay, ball comp, good. Now, do you play other compositions as well? Do you guys have it brainstormed other ones? Our, if so, our, our school team is very good at brawl. We are <laughs> we are we have a specialty in brawl because I'm like a, a 500 hour Rhine main. Yeah, and I play. I also play Ramatra. Yeah. So we we just play, and we also have a Lucio main. So we just we are really good at brawl, but it's hard to play Rhine brawl nowadays. Okay. Okay. Um, do you play any other compositions besides the Malga comp? You said maybe ball comp eventually, but not right now. So Malga uh, comp. So we have a Sig poke comp. We have okay. Rom Rush. Uh, Rom's usually our brush character because of the burst. Mm -hmm. We're um, trying to get Junker Queen into that. We yeah we have we have a Junker Queen uh, comp as well <laughs> for New Queen Street. I couldn't really tell you if it's Brawl or Rush though. Sure, sure. Um, but those are uh, our main comps that we use. Got it. Honest question: What's the logic behind learning these different compositions and like going from Malga to Ram to trying to pick up the JQ? Like, what's the need that demands that? Um, because we play a bunch like ten different teams who are good at different things. So we kind of need to be able to adapt to that. Sure. And also, it's good to have you know different ways to do things from when meta changes. Yeah. So if Junk Queen suddenly becomes a good character, we are unprepared. Sure, makes sense. Makes sense. I guess for me, the question would always be like, where's the balance between expanding your toolkit versus getting more repetitions at the compositions that you're learning? So we usually go by just what's good at the time. Okay. Um. I tend to not have an issue with it. So I'm flexed very often. Like I'm, I'm always playing a different character because I don't have an issue with it very much. I can still play all the characters at the same level, no matter <clears throat> what, it. but Got the it. other players, they don't get swapped as much. So okay. like Tim is usually on either Brig, Lucio or Bat, mm -hmm. like almost in all the comps, mm -hmm. you know, and Liam's always almost on honor, Kiriko and all the comps. Mm -hmm. So like yeah. other, or Lucio, yeah. When Tim isn't Lucio, he plays Lucio. You know, et cetera, et cetera. So they're not swapping as much as I am, for sure. So they usually get their, like, their tool. They usually get their repetition then. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. <clears throat> that works for me. Um, I would just, as always, if possible, with the amount of practice that you guys are getting, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I would try to kind of keep the compositional variety to just the two comps at most three. So I know, Sean, you're doing most of the swapping yourself, and that's for you. But for everybody else, we're going to try to keep things simple while introducing too much variety. Just so, because we're only getting, what, like two and a half hours of practice a week, um, maybe three, we need to make that count. Um, and, and keeping simple goals for the compositions that we're playing would be great. What I would recommend from what I'm hearing right now, and this is probably very close to what you're already doing, if not exactly what you're already doing, play one rush comp, you swap the tank here or there, depending on whatever you want to play, Sean. And play your Sigpo comp. Why do you guys have the ball comp on your horizons? What's the logic behind that? What do you guys need that for? The reason is, is because where our team is known in the state right now for being a Sombra uh, brawl. We mm -hmm. have a, we, he's not here today, but we have a very good Sombra player named Aiden. Mm -hmm. um, what we will usually do is use Sombra for Chaos in the back line and then rush in. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of been carrying us for a year now. We did we won uh, uh, we won Valhallen League last year <laughs> nice. with that comp, <laughs> right? So it's very known now. And so we want to swap off to random things that could kind of throw people off in early playoffs. Sure, <laughs> um, easier matches, so we can kind of put less time into it. I think, yeah. but we yeah. just want to throw people off at the beginning. Sure. That's why we're kind of looking in different comps. Okay. Um, I, I, I think you're right. I think we should probably focus on one just to have it practiced more. Yeah. I, I just um, find a balance, just find a balance, you know, and you guys are going to, you guys are going to know what works best for y'all, but I would just encourage you to keep a balance between variety and, and stagnation. 
right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so quick, before we get into the gameplay review, I want to quickly go down through here. Sean, you filled out the form and you said, if, what do you feel is the holding back the team from improving? You said, if I had to say, I'd put a mixture of mentality and understanding. Talk to me about that really quick. And then I want everyone else to have the floor too. Was an issue. We lost against Mooresville, a team we probably shouldn't have. Or was it, no, sorry, was it Noblesville or Mooresville, Tim? Noblesville. Noblesville, sorry. Lost against Noblesville. We never have before. We lost to them. It was really bad. It cracked at everyone, including me. Um, and then we lost the next game as well because we were just out of it. And practices were getting kind of crappy, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, we, we've won games since then, so we're better. It's a little better now, but it, it still can be an issue. If we lose a round, a lot of our players will, including me sometimes, just go down. Okay. So I, 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 I can't have that happening. Um, understanding as well is that, again, just a lot of our players just are newer to the game. Like Liam sure. is getting better every day. He really is, but he's still newer. Same thing with Isaiah. Same thing with Xavier. So yeah. it's just a basic lack of understanding for some things because sure. they are newer, sure. which only comes with time in all honesty. But sure. I figured some coaching can expedite it a little bit. Yeah, of course. Now, quick question. How often does this like, oh, we got boomed and we start to lose games that we shouldn't. Does that happen at all during practice? Yes. Okay. What? Okay. That, that, that's actually good to know. That's good to know. I, I have an idea here. Um, it can, it can happen pretty often. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go through the list here. Isaac, do you have anything to add in terms of points of practice? You think that the team struggles with or what the team needs to, to improve on any priorities come to mind? Even if it's just the same stuff that Sean said. Um, I feel like in game a lot, like not just communication, but like I'll make call outs or whatever, or I'll heal, hear call outs from Sean or Tim or whatever. And then I'll see them just get ignored. So like we're making good calls and like good plays are being called out. And then half the team follows it and half the team <clears throat> just like does their thing. Mm, mm. Okay. Isaiah, any priorities come to mind to you? Uh, sorry, I'm in the car right now. But no worries. Right. No worries. No worries. We can, we, we'll come back to you if, if you want. It's, it's mainly, it's mainly just communication thing for me. It's just... Callouts okay. are being made, Stomper's in the back line, but nobody's acting on it. Just stuff like that. Got it. <clears throat> Got it. Okay. Liam. <clears throat> it's definitely communication and timing. <laughs> hmm. Now you said timing specifically. Specifically. So like like there's times where even all do something too early, whether it's a misunderstanding or just like way too early in general. People push ahead beforehand when not everyone's there. Who's I? Whose mic is that going? That would be Sean. That would be Sean. Okay. I'll mute. Um, it's just timing. Okay. People okay. do things way too early than they should, and then we're forced to go in and help. Tim. I don't know. Um, I guess it would probably be just like coordination as a team and still also the communication. That's always a problem, but I feel Got like it. we're just not like coordinating well. Got it. Like <clears throat> some okay. people will do one thing. Other people will, like not tend to know what's going on. Like just forget to communi communicate a lot of stuff. Yep. Yep. Okay. Makes sense. And then Xavier, finally. Uh, I, I definitely have to agree with everyone here it's it's definitely the communication uh i will i don't know what isaac said there have been times where i've called <laughs> out someone that needs to die like immediately right like it's a big yep. issue and then there's only maybe like one or two people that are actually hearing me or either one hearing me or two caring mm. <clears throat> that and you need to make uh comms a lot more yeah yeah so that was okay. another well, actually one. i did think of another one um Go ahead. About something like, one thing that I think that a lot of us are having problems with are spatial awareness. Like, like a lot, I've noticed a lot of people like not like knowing where, <clears throat> like their positioning, not knowing yeah. how far they can go in <clears throat> and stuff like that, compared to like where their supports are and stuff like that. Sure, sure, okay, okay, makes sense. That one is a tricky one because that one mostly just comes with practice. But yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, really all of these come with practice, but I think it's a, it's a good reminder because Sean's been playing this game for a long time. And many of you guys that haven't played this game for a long time, we all know the hard stuck Ryan one trick or junk rat one trick or mercy one trick 
in bronze that has been playing the game for 10,000 hours and has not improved. And I think the key thing for you guys to note is that <clears throat> it's not just going to be the amount of hours that you put in practicing these things. It's going to be about the quality of that practice because you guys only have around two to three hours a week to practice this stuff. That is more than enough time to make significant improvements depending on the intensity with which you practice. And I don't care if it's quick play. I don't care if it's a scrimmage. I don't care if it's a match. When you go in, you need to go in with a specific goal in mind and need to hold each other accountable to prove these things. Um, no question. Now we'll talk about that. Was that you say quick question? Yeah, you said yeah, intense day of practice. What does that mean? It means that when you're going in, you're not just playing the game. You're playing the game with a purpose. All right. Let's be honest. How many times have you guys showed up in a class this past week and just kind of like, we're there, you know? <clears throat> can't do that you can't Too do that times. right right you can't you can't do that if you want to improve it overwatch because like, you will get better kind of sort of learn a little bit but it's going to go in one year out the other you have to kind of keep each other accountable you have to be like all right this quick play game we're on the malgocom we're going to focus on like actually listening to sean's call and making sure that we're all timing things at the same time <clears throat> it's a great goal kill it but then don't just do that for one map jump back into queue do it again do it again do it again do it again, do it again. and then when you get bored difference between here and school is you can change the goals how whenever you guys want to you guys if you guys are bored you know what you do you mix up the goals you fix you fig, find something outside you, you work on something else you work on individual stuff right you guys are your own teachers at this point in time to, to an extent i can give you stuff to work on but it's going to be up to you guys to coach yourself um now in terms of the mentality thing here you guys say that this stuff happens in quick play too where people get boomed how often does this happen anyone can answer this it kind of depends on a day, like in general. I mean, in all actuality, some of us just have a bad day at school or something like that. Yeah. You know, and some of us will crack more than others. I, I like I will crack if I'm having a bad day at school and I play. And I'll be like, uh, you know, I'll lose something mm -hmm. I think was stupid. I'll, I'll get a little upset. Yeah. Um, but then, you know, <clears throat> it goes for, you know, like other players as well. And that kind of spreads. Usually. <clears throat> yeah. 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 Here's what I would say. Um, whenever it comes to stuff like this, it's really not any one thing where you can just like snap your fingers and fix the issue. A lot of it comes from maturity, emotional maturity, the ability to be like, all right, I'm having a bad day or I had a bad day, but I'm not going to bring it into the match and I can bring it to the game. Sean, mute yourself for a second. Um, and instead I'm going to actually like take the time <clears throat> to actually focus on myself, work on what we need to be doing as a team. And crucially here, guys, you guys need to lead by example. It's really easy to be like, oh, everyone gets boomed. We all get tilted and stuff like that. But ultimately, you guys can control exactly what you guys are doing. Like, for example, let's say everyone's boomed. Nothing's stopping you, Liam, from being like, all right, guys, let's go. Let's you know, focus on the next fight. All right, what, what, what do we want to do this fight, right? That's, yeah. Even that can help people bring people back just a little bit. Set a good example. One of you guys can hold everyone else accountable just by setting a good example. Just by setting a good example. Will that fix the issue? No. This is an issue that's going to take a long time to totally fix, but you can absolutely improve it one step at a time. So what I challenge you guys to do, here's what I would say, something actionable to do. After this review, um, I'll, I'll have some notes for you guys at the end, but after this review, I want you to have hire a weekly focus manager. All right? You can call it whatever you like. You can call it the big, the big boy or the, you know, the, yell, the yell guy or whatever. Anytime during that week, during practice, when people get down or you know, we lost the round, we're not playing the comp right, it's that person's responsibility to start, to start, not a pep talk, just, just keep the communication going, to start the communication again. Does that make sense? So we get yeah. quiet, we get... You know, that person has to start the communication. Guys, what do we need to do? What, what, what do we need to be doing better with this run? And they have to do it for the entire week or the entire day or whatever else. And that, that position should optimally rotate from player to player week to week. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> um, and hopefully that one person is able to remind... And the key thing here is it's not that that person has all the responsibility. That person has the responsibility to get that started. Everybody in this call has the responsibility to feed off of that, or at least try to. Does that make sense? So when you mm -hmm. hear that person start the snowball, it's everybody's responsible to get it better. That's it. Make sense? Yep. Okay. Yeah. 
Very important that you guys implement that and, and that is implemented immediately as soon as you guys start. Um, okay. In terms of the communicational stuff, I would like to look at that more in-game uh, so we have an idea of what we need to be practicing. Um, do you guys have any questions? Okay. You guys want to look at some uh, some codes here? Yep. First okay. one work for you, Sean? Yeah, that one's fine. I'll All be right. honest, I remember which one. E I don't remember what some of them are because they were like a week ago, but they were, I know they're from one of our games that we had okay. on Tuesday. So. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah, this one. All right. Oh, yeah, this one was the. What is this one? Okay. Right. So this one is, okay. So this one is a, was a pretty close loss, in my opinion, where we choked at the end. Okay. <clears throat> where we choked ish. I, I don't know really how to explain it. What is choking? <laughs> uh, we we were doing decent most of the game, and then we just all progress stopped the last couple of minutes. Okay. okay. We also kind of C9. We also kind of C9. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. It was it, it hurt okay. a little bit. <clears throat> so, Liam, why are you guys playing this composition? What's the purpose of this composition? Give me the, the, the if you're explaining this to a five year old, what does it do? Um. So. <laughs> Hold on, I'm trying to remember because you're good. It's, Don't look at the characters. One of the main what do they priorities do? Priorities is to get Aiden off of Sombra. So far, Mercy is both something we're both practicing because I don't play Mercy at all. Yep. Um, <clears throat> it's more or less a poke comp, and the Ash's purpose is to help keep people from shooting at us. Okay, sure. And then, what does a poke comp mean? Like shooting at their backline. Doesn't every character a, shoot at people in Overwatch? Picking too? a certain character and just getting rid of them, and then doing it. it again and again. Sure. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. <clears throat> Anyone else have any things to add? That was, that was a good one. Nothing really to add. Just the reason we were on Arissa was kind of because we were playing other tanks, but we were, I was I was getting a little frustrated. It wasn't really working for me so i kind gotcha. of figured newton eichenwald very yeah. very long first point where i can just kind of shoot down mid sure sure Makes and also sense. i kind of was a, i was kind of expecting a far mercy sure from sure. their side as well so Got i it. went arisa to kind of deal with that but it didn't happen so. Makes sense. Okay, let's uh, let's let's take a look. We're gonna keep things really simple. I'm not gonna go too in detail in the in the individual stuff here, but yeah. Let's uh let's take a look. Now here's the question: What is there to call right now? For me, what I was calling was if I had a spear. Like, so what I would do is I would just lob spear at at that, because like, the, so their wall behind Sig right there, I would just lob spear. Gotcha. And I knew the far was right there, so I'd call out who I hit with spear. And if they hit them with a power boost, power boosted rocket after spear, they die. Just gotcha. it's just a one shot. So right. that's what I right. was calling out mainly. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, we had Aiden calling out people if they were low or if he was low. And <laughs> what, then... is, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what he was doing. We're here, gonna have to see what he's cooking. We're gonna yeah, have to see what he cooks moment. here. Uh, oh, oh boy, <laughs> uh, that, that's a problem. I told him he shouldn't have gone in there. Ta after. Tactical feeding, tactical feeding, I think. So I'm, I'm just gonna kind of let go ahead for what it matters. I was screaming at him for it. <laughs> okay, that's that's good. That's good. Yeah, there's really not a whole lot to communicate right now outside of the fact that if you have an ultimate, you want to use it. Like, for example, like right now, this is a good time to actually have a quick pause here because. We, we talked about there's not a lot of communication needed to be here outside of maybe you want to call your spears. Sure, that's fine. We're just going to sit here and, and hold mouse one in the direction and hold angles, right? But do you guys see the top left? Do you see the numbers? We've got Arisa. Yeah, yeah. We've got back. We've ult. got Farah. And we probably should track or have an idea that they might have an ultimate too. So what should be communicated right now? What's the most important thing you could be communicating right now? Old percentages, old economy. Um, right now, I probably should have figured out Ana was about to get old because of how much damage I'd been doing, like how much damage we'd been doing, but without <clears throat> so getting a kill. I should have known though there'd be Ana. Uh, probably have Far Mercy uh, Far Mercy target backline a bit more, put some pressure on her. What's the plan with the ultimates though? Because we're about to have four for ultimates. Save them, really. I well, not save them necessarily. I think that we don't need to use all of them, but I think. 
that, for instance, Rissa could probably get away with hers. Um, I, a lot of the ultimates are the, the way I see the ultimates, ultimates segmented right now is Arissa, Bap use theirs separately for each other. Arisa, but Bap can use his for the <clears> Ash and him, <throat> yeah. but you know he can use his also selfishly in this comp. The um the brig the uh, the far and the mercy don't need users at the same time at all. In fact, I think if they did, it'd be kind of a waste. <clears> I think <throat> it, uh, but I also think that if far use their ult, they're gonna die. <clears throat> Okay. So I, it's it's a bit scary to use theirs. So 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. That's that's a lot of words, a lot of good words, a lot of educational, informative words. But we still don't have a plan. So what's the plan? How are we gonna win this next fight? Probably just gonna use Arissa in mid. Okay. Was that communicated? Yeah. Nobody using the ult. I'm gonna use the ult when they cross choke. That wasn't communicated. Probably. You guys kind of see what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Like you can have all the understanding of all the details in the world, but if you don't have any idea about like what's the plan here, then what's the point, right? Because that's how you overstack ultimates, how you underuse. Because the other thing too is if, if your Arisa is calling, I'm going to use ult and choke, that might also mean that, hey, get ready to follow up off of that. Or, hey, let's not use back window yet. Or, hey, let's try to combo with this. Like there's a million ways that we could look at this, but we need to be communicating that. That's the most important thing you could be communicating right now is what I are we what actually we, doing? I think what we actually calmed was just we're going to keep poking because gotcha. in all honesty, there was no need to do anything else. But they're going to yeah. have ultimates. You see what I'm saying? Like eventually they they will use an ultimate. You will need to use your ultimate because they will have theirs. So you're going to have to respond with something, right? Mm -hmm. And that's what you need to be prepared for. I think it's really easy to overthink communication in Overwatch because there's so many things that you can call, but you really don't need to call much. Again, right now, like, okay, they're on Sojournal. Like, we should probably have a little bit of an idea that they're going to have some ultimates to use here, and now we don't have our Arisa ult. So what should be communicated? Uh, I'm not sure. It's tricky, isn't it? Tim, what do you think? Um, I mean, I think that we sh would be, should be communicating what, like, sort of ultimates we'll be using to keep... Sure. Them. I picked you I for a reason, you see? What do you got? Yeah. I got window. You got window. It's a pretty easy ultimate to use. When do you use it? Um, when they're in a location where they can't really sure. get out of the way of it. So where would that be? <clears throat> um, right after they push past choke. Sounds good. So what's the plan? Back up a little bit, let them in, so we can just melt them with the yeah. Window. Just even just play the corner here, right? Just like let's not play this far forward. Let them come forward. Play the choke hard. I'm gonna window the choke. Right. Would that work? Yeah. Yes, that would work. Yep. That would absolutely work. I could even back up and take advantage you of sure that. You sure could. I, Isaac, you come up with it. Isaac, that plan sucks, right? Because you're the Ash and you think you're, Tim's an idiot. Um, so you come up with your own plan, Isaac. What's the plan? What's a different plan that would work? <clears throat> oh, and again, I'm asking uh, you for a reason. Because I got Bob. You got Bob. How does Bob work? Where do you want to put it? When? Where do you want to put it? Well, I'd say I want to put Bob in a place so that he can get kind of an off angle so we can be yeah they can't they can't hide from both of us mm -hmm. at this point. yeah yep yeah. so what do you need for your positioning and what do you need from your team to make it work hmm. that's a good one <clears throat> we could back up to closer where i am yeah and then if i put um bob uh where he can see like the right side of this big pillar like here yeah and then yeah. we can kind of play left side and then if they want to go sure. on to that right side where bob is you know they got to fight him i love it i love it and actually there's nothing stopping you from doing both ultimates like let's say they bap what you we bap window and then they respond with nano and rally and then you also use the bob in the off angle too that works too but did you see how this is actually taking a little bit of time and thinking right yeah and this is when this thinking needs to be used right now because if you don't put the preparation to it, then everything's going to be poorly set up and panicked. So if you guys right. don't get a pick here, then you're, you're just operating at disadvantage. Does that yeah, make sense, I guys? Think, I think we get comfortable knowing that, okay, we have old abilities, we have ultimates, they haven't gotten a much, they, have, they don't put a lot of pressure on us, we put right. a lot on them, we can win by poking. I think we kind of get comfortable with that and it think, uh, well, we can use our old if we really need to, the end. I think a that's exactly. what we tend to do, including exactly. myself. Exactly. So I don't. Uh, I think that's something we could work on. Uh, it's just more, more micro thinking. 
Exactly. The, the, the flaw in that thing is at some point that they're going to have ultimates as well. And then also, we're going to see opportunities that are not set up. Like, look at this uh, from Aiden, right? Aiden? Yeah. yeah. Um, like, where the frick are we, guys? You know what I'm saying? Like, we're not anywhere near to being be able to help this whatsoever. We don't, we don't even have Mercy Beam attached right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is, the, and this is why this far, frankly, should have died. Like, this, this, there's no reason this far shouldn't have died. Um, but anyway, we need we need to be having this. Some ultimates you can't exactly force, but you should at least have an idea of what we're looking for. Let them out of the choke a little bit. I'll see if I can get a pick. That kind of a thing. Um, and then you oh, know, they 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 fight through choke with this manga. Yeah, I think, and this, Aiden, I think, this, I think Aiden, soon Aiden, is where they take it. Aiden is doing some Aiden things. <clears throat> He's got yep. a habit of. Yeah, and then this is a mess. Oh my days! This is a yes, total mess. Yes, I, I, I total see Maga mess. push past me, and I think that I can't fight him, so I go for his backline. I, I think that's smart. I, I think that's, I think that's smart. Yeah, I mean, it was worth a shot, but it's just the whole thing is just a total mess. We even used our, uh, our ultimates there, and it still doesn't matter. So, but yeah, I, I think the key thing here is like besides Aiden's just feeding his brains out, um, we needed to actually have an idea of what were we going to do. Like e even now, like we still have a massive old advantage or disadvantage. We need to find out what we're going to do with this back window because that's going to change everything. Are we going to stuff the choke? Maybe. Is stuffing the choke good with back window? I don't know. Does my back window be this close when they have nano rally visor? I don't know. Is there a way that we could still win this fight? Should we just take a dry fight? You guys heard that term before? Yeah. No. Okay. But I, I assume that these questions and answers are not really coming up as much. Nine games now, and I'm going to point out they one other thing. This, VODs, but and that's I'm gonna, about it. right, and that and that's that's me. You asked me earlier, Sean, what's intense practice? This is not intense practice. This is just playing the game. You see right. what I'm saying? Yeah. And not only that, from the old side of things, because it's very easy to nitpick the old side of things, because that's what we're focusing on. But also, what the frick, guys? What the frick? What the frick? Aiden pushed too far forward. I was doing my job. I, I get this, right? Is Aiden feeding here? Yes and no. If Aiden's going to play like this, what needs to happen with the rest of my backline and frontline? I think, I mean, if he's pushing forward on, on their backline, I would think that I would put forward on their frontline as well. I agree. But I agree. I'm not sure. I agree. I think, can I be honest? I think it's a stupid play. I think, especially with the ultimates that they have, Nano and Rally and Visor, I don't think that you guys should try to do what Aiden's doing, frankly. But I would rather, if Aiden's going to do something stupid like this, that we actually try to capitalize off of that. Now, the question is, you guys may not remember this. The question is, is did you guys know that Aiden was doing this? I don't think I did. So we have a problem, and it's not necessarily your fault. It's definitely y'all's fault when it comes to the ult planning. You guys suck at it. That's okay, we can fix that. Something? Yeah, please. Uh, from my perspective, when I see Aiden and Liam play Far Mercy, it seems like a com like a completely different like team from us. Yeah, I'm getting like that impression a lot. A lot of communication, not as much as there should be. That's partly on my end. Um, I definitely do promote like being independent sometimes when they're playing Far Mercy. I do promote like, hey, you guys are allowed to be more independent than the rest yeah. of us sometimes. Yeah. Um, I think they just sometimes take it and run with it, though. Well, it's independent in positioning, right? We don't want them stacked with us. We want them on a different angle. But that angle has to be something that we can also assist with, right? Yeah. Like, we would want our pharmacy to play here or to play over here. They come to the choke, they get off-angled here while we're shooting from here. That's, that's, that's good. That's team independence. This is selfish independence. You guys see the difference? Um, yeah. So this needs to be something that you guys need to talk about, right? And the crucial thing here, the crucial thing here is who said that this has been a consistent issue before Sean spoke up? I, I didn't see who was speaking. Was it Tim? Uh, it was me. It was no, it was Xavier, Xavier, Xavier. Why haven't you said anything, Xavier? What do you mean? Well, you've noticed that this is an issue, but you haven't brought this up before, I assume. Why not? Uh, I'll be honest. The big issue that I have is not being vocal enough. Sure. In, in, in training, or not training, in practice and in just in general. That's sure. something I got to work past. Sure, sure. I, also, I think, go ahead. It's a, a part of, I know a part of being a tank is supposed to be, you have to kind of take lead sometimes on who you want to take a pick on. 
Yeah. And that's that's something I really got to get <clears> used to because I'm not used to like bossing people around for a lack of better words. Sure. I'm sure. trying I, to I, push I, it on him and make him make more fun. <laughs> I, I don't even think so. Think it's necessarily needs to be a bossing around. Like you don't need to be an ass about it. But you just need to be like, hey, like Aiden, I, you're something that seems like you're really split from us. Do you should should we be commu- like bring it up as a question, right? Bring it up as a question. I'm being an ass about it because you guys paid me, so I'm, I'm here for that job. But you guys don't have when you guys are coaching each other and providing feedback for each other. It could just be a question. Hey, can we? Do you guys think that we could do a better thing here? Because you're, you're absolutely Here's right, a Xavier. For a second, pardon me. That's, that's all right. <laughs> Sorry, because you're absolutely right, Xavier. You're absolutely right. So something to kind of keep an eye on. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, you know, healthy teams are not teams where everybody's nice to each other. Healthy teams are teams where everybody's respectful and nice to each other, but asks, gives feedback, provides accountability, right? Doesn't, we don't need to be toxic, but we don't need to be holding hands and giving each other kisses on the cheek. Make sense? Right. <clears throat> if you see something, say something. Do it respectfully. Because otherwise the person will just get mad at you and then the whole point of the feedback is wasted. But it needs to be said. Because it's really depressing to me that, you know, the fact that this fight feels so bad just because Aiden fed, like that's that's it. Like that's that's the entire fight is just Aiden fed or didn't communicate. Okay. <clears throat> Sean, what should we do here? Well, I'm honestly holding, I'm just holding frontline because I know I'm the best person to do it. Yep. Um, the MAGA can't kill me. I can't kill him. Why not just stall him out? Works for me. What's going to happen the second that they cross the line or get too aggressive? What are you going to do? The second they cross the line, I have Walt ready. I just lock them in. Was that communicating? <laughs> uh, actually, yes. I ah, did say that. You're a genius. I yes. did say I was going to ult because Excellent. the thing is, is that right now the Fara can take great opportunity with this because they're so they're so bunched up. It's so like beautiful, like eggs in a basket. So yeah. I'm I'm kind of just keeping them away from yeah. choke in the sense that. If they're in choke with Maga, they can shoot my Farah. If they're under choke there, they can't. Yeah, smart. I so love it. So if their Maga is there and the Maga can't push, they're not going to push past their Maga. Yeah, I love it. Okay, looks good. Looks good. Any questions so far, guys? Um, my thoughts. I have a question. Uh, what are your thoughts on our Ash's position? Looks Fine, good. right? Looks good. Yeah, looks good. I, I like okay. the angles that you guys have, honestly. It's okay. I mean, you, your, your bat might need to occasionally throw a heel. Oh, wait. I thought she was in tower. <laughs> No, 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 but this is good. This is good. This is good. You got an no, Othingle here. Nice. You got Farah here. Bap's able to pocket both her and the Ash. You got good cover. I mean, overall, y'all's positioning has, besides your Farah, inting a little bit, and that's even been fine as long as we were communicating it. It's not been a major issue. You guys are holding angles. You guys are playing your range. It's just that there's been clearly no plan whatsoever, and then there's a disconnect between the core and the pharmacy. Those are the issues here. Yeah, so this is great. Uh-oh. What's the problem? That is a battle. We didn't plan the ults out at all. No, uh, we didn't. Tim, Tim ulted, and then Aiden just kind of heard the it. The question right. is... I, I'm pretty I, sure I called out mine. I called out you mine, did. but I don't... You did call it out, it. but yeah. you called it out. The issue is, I think you called it out without telling us, like, you were going to do it. You just said, I'm going to use all, and then use it all. Which I have an issue with, too, so I'm not, like, bashing you. Right. It, but I think that's Another what Another thing Aiden should have done is he should have gone behind them since they were being forced back by window. That's a True. brilliant call-out. I thought you were gold. I, uh, I feel bad for bashing on Aiden so much that he's not here, but... Uh, no, 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 that's okay. We're not. We're only bashing on Aiden. Aiden how good? How, how high of a rank is Aiden? Aiden's gold, plat. plat. Yeah, gold plat, plat, yes, I'd yeah. Flat, flat, leaning flat, towards plat, plat a bit. Flat's fine, flat's fine, flat's fine. hear this, though. That's true, but that's that's why we're here. Um, Liam, uh, was it Liam that called that? Liam, you said the one the pharmacy going on behind, right? I said he should have. Done yeah, that yeah, yeah, back. yeah, yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. I was I was making fun. You got the you got the uh, grandmaster brain on the, the the gold uh the gold rank right now. Um, anyway, yeah, you're right. Yeah, this is this is this is a good window from Tim. The only nitpick that Sean says, which I agree with, is that this needed to be prepped a little bit. Um, what I would say is if you're not sure when you can use the ultimate because you're waiting for something to happen, just say, guys, I'm going to use window when they, you got me? Yeah. This is a great window. Great window. Nowhere for them to hide. The brig has to sit on a car, but she should die. It's just really, it's a good window. It's, I, like, I like it. It's I a good window. Push up on this brig a bit you more. should push, right. You should push up on the brig a little bit more. We should have had a far up pincer and so on. You know, the main thing I'm, I'm frustrated with the fact that this wasn't communicated as much ahead of time and also the far up obviously committing ultimate at the same time, which I assume is partially because we're not giving enough time to, to prep. Does that make sense? I wish I was I recording this. I would have used it on high ground, though. 
You wish you were recording this? Yeah, there's something oh, I wish man. I was recording uh, so I could send it in. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Next, it's, that's right. if, only, if only I had somebody brilliant who had the foresight to record it ahead of time. Yeah, I've only had a top 500 to record it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'll send it to you guys by t- uh, day after tomorrow. That worked for you Oh, guys? wait, you're actually recording? I was yes, joking. I'm, 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 I was I'm, I'm joking. Actually, <laughs> I'm actually, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, he okay. turned on clipping. Uh, I'm That's recording. Fine. I'm recording. You're good. I was joking. <laughs> It helps because. But yeah, no, I'm I'm ter- terrible. I'm kind of scared shitless, but I know I kind of have to be up that front with the MAGA. Nah, that's all right. That's all right. Because he can't kill me. It's just, it's just that's as yeah, big as yeah. that. Same, same thing. Same thing here with the Arista Ultimate as well. But and also, I will say this, Sean. Like, if you're looking for a situation to use Ultimate, now would probably be the time. Considering where their backline is, yeah, like seeing where this backline is, this is probably your best opportunity here. I think I do. Yeah. It's, I would love for you to not have to use Fortify to get it off, though. So, yeah. like, if you're able to just Javelin spin here and do it, and then use your ultimate, that way you're able to Fortify after the ultimate, right? I think I wanted to save as much health as possible, but I didn't know Tim was going to um, give that mortality field. Well, the irony is that by saving health, you then guarantee that you will die after the ultimate. You know what I'm saying? You have enough. You'll be okay. I think that's okay if I were to get two to three kills. Sure. Sure. Oh, you gotta let it rip right here. Ah, oh, that is so unfortunate. The pixel. The pixel below 200%. Okay, anyway. Um, let's, let's keep going. Any questions, guys? Nothing. I just, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna see this part uh, of the game do you have very any- much. Do you have any tips on on me to kind of? Because you say you say we need to like think before we do stuff. It's it's kind of hard to think in the middle of a battle. Do you have any tips for that? Oh yeah, it really is. Do you know what Sean was saying with the Arisa Ultimate that needed to be done better? It was thinking when, not when the fight before. was already starting, but before you knew what you were looking for. What was what was Sean looking for for Arisa Ultimate? Um, pack them all together. Yeah, pack them all together. The sec- he's basically Sean's like, all right, guys, the second they're going to walk forward through this choke, I'm going to hold choke, hold choke, hold choke. If those squishies walk forward, I pop the ultimate. And that's it. And so now the entire fight is just kind of waiting for that opportunity that you've already thought through and figured out. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because you don't always know what the enemy team is going to do. Like They might not behave in the way that you want to, but your teammates at least need to have confidence that they know what to expect from you. Does that make sense? Yeah. And so it is really difficult to think in the middle of a fight. That's why you think ahead of time. You have an idea of kind of what you're looking for here. And I hope to goodness here, although I know it's probably not true, that Isaac is communicating what? He's his off angle. Right. My off angle and not only that, but the check mark. You got me? What could you do with this Bob? What are you going to do with this Bob? Stand him on the bridge. You could stall cart, clear out the soldier brig. Are we communicating it? Nope. Well, he might have been. I, I thought oh. he was going to stop on that wall, but he didn't. True. Yeah, True. yeah, yeah. That's that's a little unfortunate. Is this where we see nine? No, it's not. Okay. I think you no, guys just lose this. Yeah, I, I go MAGA here lose. out of panic. I admit, I should have stayed Arisa, and I think I swap right back. Uh, I go MAGA here out of panic because earlier in the match, we do MAGA MAGA, and I was having the advantage. Gotcha. Um, I, I needed to go back to Orissa for sustain, and just because I was able to keep the Ramaga away with him before. Sure. Um, I, I can't do Maga. In sure. Comp. Honest question, Tim. What are you waiting for? Um, yeah, I probably should have used it. This is Use this is old or more yes, 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 yes. Yeah, old. Like this is kind of what I'm talking about. Like, not only is there a lack of communication here or preparation. But be- almost because there's a lack of communication and preparation, like we almost lose this fight just because we didn't press Q. Yeah, like, that's crazy. Well, it, that makes me wonder. Uh, with a minute and thirty left, do you use the old? I mean, I guess it's that yes. or losing. I win guess. the fight. Win the fight. Win the fight, and then build your nano, build your reaper, ult, build your wrist. I mean, look. Yeah, the gear- there are other options to use while it's thing- waiting for battle. Right. You're right. right. Look. My look. Bad. Look. Or, or, no, you're good. You're good. The Ash and Reaper die here. If Ash and Reaper live, I think they clean up ult charge even more so than they did. We get more kills. We catch the last two people before they get out, and then we win this fight even cleaner. We get even more ult charge. Winning fights cleanly gives you more ult charge. Because the enemies that died don't generate ult charge for their supports, and they do generate ult charge for you. 
So, I mean, this is good. This is good Baptiste play. You, you did a good job with your, your shots and your, your ability usage, but somehow you missed the most fundamental part of it. And the reason I'm picking on Tim is because this is a team issue, right? This is something that every single person in this voice call screwed up at some point. It also um, helps me because I'm trying to practice BAP too. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Now, there are some ultimates that are strictly reactive, right? Support ults can be that. Even the Arisa ultimate. You guys remember what we had with the Arisa ultimate? We're not going to use the Arisa ultimate until they walk through the choke. We're gonna... I, have a, I have a question. Yeah. Um, what ultimates, in your opinion, support are like purely reactive? Or at least like mostly reactive? All of reactive? them can be. All of them can be. Every single one. This is my point. Every single ultimate can be reactive or proactive. It's up to you but that does not mean that you do not communicate it. For example, you could have your Reaper sitting here and hiding and saying, we're going to death blossom when they walk through the choke. That's a reactive ultimate, right? You're, so what does that mean? How do you guys play around that? So Reaper's going to use cho you, Reaper's gonna ult when they go around choke. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back up from choke. I'm yep. going to back up to, I'd say, around corner, corner. Or, yep. or hide if you want to move to the middle of the hallway real quick. Right. Right. Uh, probably hiding behind cart a little bit. Right, right. Um, you, you see what I'm saying? You see as what soon as he goes in, use my ult in combination with his. Yeah. So bring them all together and then rip her ult because you my ult's it. just going to be used to move them. You got it. You got it. You could even do this with a support ult. Like, I'm going to, I'm not, I, you have trance. They have both blade and primal rage. Zaniata goes, I don't, I don't know which one they're going to use first, but I'm just going to trance whatever happens first. Okay. Good to know. So we'll save lamp. You guys can just kind of see what I'm saying, right? Yeah. You don't need you don't need to know every single tiny little scenario. Like if they do this and then this and this and this, no, just be like, I'm gonna use this when they push the joke. Same thing with Bob, same thing with Bap Window. Uh it could be that you guys are gonna be on attack and we're gonna be opening with Bap Window. Okay. Uh so don't stack our ultimates here. It doesn't matter. It's actually unbelievably simple to have good ult uh planning at its base level. It's it's hard to get the, the details perfectly right. But it is really easy to just start doing a halfway decent job. And that's yeah, I think I hear, where we're at right now. I hear the Reaper scream, there's Maga in the right room, and I just well, kind of wand, wander over there, but then he just ults and wins the fight. Brilliant. Nice lamp there, Tim, by the way. It's good stuff. Nice. Okay. Rip. I mean, it's fine. No, I'm not teasing. Sorry. I'm, I'm just teasing. <laughs> You're not teasing. It's too late. You guys heard that, right? You know, actually, you Tim, I hate you. I just like you entirely. <laughs> oh, wow. Thanks. <laughs> Liam, what, what, Liam, Great. what's the nano? What's the nano for? Um, I normally save nano for Arisa ult. For Arisa ult, the combo with the Arisa ult. Yes. Look at the top left. Is your Arisa gonna build ultimate? No. So no. I think I used it on Ash this time. Okay. Let me ask you a question. Could you think your Arisa could use nano right now? Yes. Okay. Right. I think, admittedly, I told him to use it on uh, Ash because the Ash was getting uh, angles. I think I told him not to use it on me because I knew I, uh, I, Bap was going to keep me alive. Yeah, sure, so sure, that's sure. Not, that's not exactly his fault. That's my fault. Yeah, and, and, well, I, I think I think this is just, again, just a symptom of a larger problem here where we just, we I need more autonomy. I need you guys to be thinking for yourselves more. Yeah, that's something I'm working on. You, and and, 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 I, and, he, well, and let me... Let me tell you when you need to be thinking about it, Liam. You ready? We're going to go back in time here. You ready? This is when you need to start thinking about your ultimate. Right. Right now. What are you going to do with uh, your well, ultimate? I think that comes with a um, bit of a, like, just like general game understanding though, right? Like sure. that comes with time as well. Sure. But you don't develop good understanding if you don't actually apply the understanding. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Okay. So okay. how are you going to learn nanoing in Ash or Reaper or Arisa is bad and when it's bad if you don't even use the nano boost? Yeah. Normally, I ask when and who to use nano on because Don't ask. I'm not fully sure. Don't ask. Say, hey, okay. I want to nano you. And then if they say no, then you find somebody else. Okay. You got me? And I yep. want you every time to use that nano to, to before you say you're going to nano somebody, give it a good three, four, maybe even five seconds of thought. So with what you see right now, who do you think you should nano? Probably Arissa. Probably Arissa. Yeah, I agree. I think a risk of nano right there, I think maybe kills two. Certainly doesn't die. Certainly doesn't need our lamp. Certainly nano now. And you could be flexible too. You could change your plan if you see an opportunity. That's okay. It's okay to make mistakes here. But it's going to be a much better for your growth if you have, instead of somebody telling you what to do, you think about it ahead of time and try to figure it out on your own. And then obviously if, if Sean's like, no, no, don't nano me, you know, whatever. That's, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, but, but, I'm going to have the pipe in here. That's, again, that is something that's 
kind of my fault. <laughs> I, with with when I'm te- when I'm teaching Xavier sure. and Aiden and um, Liam, I'm, I do kind of tell them like, "Hey, wait for me to say something." Sure. I think my issue, my biggest issue, genuinely, as like one of the team captains, is just I'm kind of controlling of the abilities. Yeah. So I'm I'm very I'm webbing everything yeah. internally yeah. where I'm like, okay do this when I tell you to, and then do this. Like I'm kind of trying to orchestrate things. That's not my job. I think I need to let go of it. Well, the problem is you're smart, but you don't have enough brains to do all that. Nobody does. You're trying to micromanage in a way that no possible physical human being could control this many factors and communicate for everybody at all times. And not only yeah. if, if you, and if you try to, you will play worse individually, like your mechanics in your own play. So like you said, you do need to give a little bit more space and let other people do what they need to do. Not only so that they can get better and develop, but so that you can actually do what you need to do. Yeah. I want you to show off your brains in review and between maps if you want to discuss things. But when it comes to in-game, try to focus on doing what you need to do as much as you can. And trust your teammates to actually figure things out. And that means everybody in this call needs to... You're not going to get babysit anymore or babysat anymore. You guys are, you guys are going to have to take some of your own initiative. I mean, look at this. We didn't even use our nano boost. Are you kidding me? We didn't even use our back window. Are, we, are you guys kidding me? Right? This is ridiculous. We almost lost that. We almost lost. Yeah. L- low hanging fruit here. Low hanging fruit. This is what we need to improve on. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Any questions so far? Mm. Are you guys bored yet? <laughs> no, I'm actually. That yeah, time actually I'm, 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 I'm okay. Good. Smile. Smile. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm having the time of my life right, All right now. Good, good, good. I just know I, I generally don't do reviews this long, but uh, you know, obviously team reviews do go a little bit longer the first time. So I be, very, uh, I good. very much appreciate it. Of course. No problem. No problem. Um, okay. No questions? No. Okay. Do you I'm also, f- do you also feel like oh, there's wait, nothing? Xavier has one. Xavier, go ahead. No, no. I said, no, you're good. Oh, no, I thought you good? said you're you good? had one. My bad. My okay, bad. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Do you guys, do you guys see how simple all this is though? Like there's nothing like super yeah. big brain strategically. Yeah. It's just, it's just fundamentals. It's just small yeah. things we got to work on. It's just small things you got to work on. That's it. Yep. Comp here is pretty cool. So we decided to kind of throw them off with, uh, with like junk queen. Cause like I said, sure. we've been working on it a bit. Sure. Um, I didn't want to run Arissa again because I thought they would be, you know, tr- kind of countering it by now. Yeah, because, and, they, and they slightly do like they you know they get the they get the Kiriko for the ultimate they get you know the Ana Ansi Bastion they do kind of start to counter it a bit but not enough that I think I should have warranted swapping. Um, sure. I'm going for because Aiden wanted to do Sombra again, so I was like, no, fine, screw it. They got two points. We need to pull something like random out the bag, and so I decided we would just do a knife knife hack play. Yeah, sure, works um, for me. And me. then they went Arissa. Kind of the biggest issue here. Yeah, I agree. I actually think that the, the hero that we're on right now is probably the really the the one that doesn't fit right now. Um, yeah, for, no, there was a there was a miscommunication here. I go back yeah. and swap the bab. Makes sense. Makes sense. Just yes, the, just versus accidental. Arissa. Arissa yeah. Bastion is not my choice of Brigitte composition for sure. So this this one makes more sense to me. I think Kiriko could have been even better, but I think Bap is is good, especially if you're good at Bap. Just play the Bap. Um, okay. Well, for this that, is... it would have been Tim switching to Lucio and me switching to Kiriko. Sure, sure. I, I think this is okay, though. I think this is okay. So what's the plan here? What needs to... Because we talked a lot about ults, 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 because the opposite side of things, you're just mostly just holding angles and shooting, but obviously that's not going to work here. We have to take some sort of proactivity to close the distance because these guys are now running the poke comp that we were on defense. So what's the plan? Engage on hack. Okay, engage on hack. Three, two, one, rush it in. Now, who do we engage on? Probably one of the um, supports or a DPS. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, let's uh, let's see how we do. So, if you wanna, oh, uh, my mic was off when you were asking. So, can I can I talk real quick? I'm so sorry. No, no, not allowed to talk. Sorry. <laughs> um, but no, I, I'm kind of doing it right now. Never mind. But the plan was my plan was initially just to hold that corner, but we just ran in because that's how rush works. So, bye bye. Yeah. What I would say here is anytime that there's this amount of distance between you guys and the enemy team, you don't need to bite off the entire thing in one swallow. You can just do this instead. What I would do is, well, you guys tell me. What could you do? Well, that's what I tried to do was I went to, I went to choke. I passed choke. I went to the left of the building. I stood there. We had Lucio Rush. I went in. 
One, two, but three. I there guess per maybe there was another chip behind the car I could have done. But at the same time, if I go behind car, that pushes me farther away from them. Any, in the, yeah, in the don't, 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 don't overthink it. The big thing here is that I would like to see everybody a little bit closer, one step at a time. When you're playing rush comp, sometimes this is too far, even with speed boost. So what you do is you go three, two, one, zoop to here. If they push you, you fight them because you're good up close. If they don't push yeah. you, then at least when you do push them, they're a lot closer here. Um, so it allows you a chance to stabilize. Around, we should have pushed on left side, by the way. I think I, we, uh, I, we pushed I agree. on right, which was bad. Uh, the Arissa was just going to keep molly whopping me. I should have gone left and gotten the squishies. Molly whopping. I like that. So I will use that. Combat video. That's fine. It was a video like Scorpion like punching the crap out of Scorpion or um, Sub Zero one time. You mean Molly whopping someone, somebody? Yeah, some, yeah, somebody dubbed him like Molly Wop, and it like molly. it was great. I love that that's, video. That, that's phenomenal, phenomenal. <laughs> but yeah, I no, mean this, this fight, this, this looks oh, I mean this is this looks okay. The only problem here is that you've just been playing one man down the entire time because your Ash died before the fight started. You guys yeah. have closed the distance successfully. Like this is okay, uh, and the timing here has been relatively good. It's just you know. <laughs> Meh. They're not. They were not letting me play here, and I was so frustrated. I was trying to. Yeah. Pick, I'm trying to pick out Bastion all fight, and I should have given up and gone someone else. One thing I will say here from Aiden, and we're just gonna keep beating on Aiden. We're, you know what? We're gonna keep Molly whopping on Aiden. Is <laughs> this is good timing, right? Like, look at this. We're all in. We're pushing. Same time. What does Aiden need to call right now? Who we hacked? Who we hacked? Who we hacked? Actually, actually, no. Actually, no. Too much communication. Too much communication. Let Aiden do what he needs to do. He's that he's going out. That he's going out. He's leaving. No wait for it. No translocator. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. I'm low. Do you see the problem with our screens here? No. You see the problem now? <laughs> the fact that he's, he's running. He's yeah, yeah, running. yeah, 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 yeah. That's a big issue with Aiden. I, I don't, I don't know if I mentioned this to anyone here. I, I think I did, but um, Aiden doesn't talk a lot no he does that's not true that's just he not tried. true I mean, whenever he, he, whenever he, he does acts, like he, he, he tends does. to sometimes play independent he does but he plays independently so he forgets to call out hacks sometimes but he's almost always calling out hacks and he, we just can't sometimes we just can't take up on it i i, I, I don't even think that's you, one thing xavier i do not want to throw in aiden because that's actually just not sure true. sure 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 now aiden's also under a lot of pressure here as well because it's much harder it, for yes. sombra to set up things and afar to set up things so let's be very honest here that's something i so aiden came in when i was sophomore mm -hmm. i have been building that into his sombra since then i that is like one thing that he does very well extremely well is calling out his hacks we just have a very hard time tr getting on it sometimes because look at their front line it's it's orissa it's orissa bastion tim's not going to go through that <laughs> nobody's going to go through that and we're in their back line and he's gone it's just it's just something we can't take advantage of i i think that with with aiden it's not even a question of like if aiden needs to communicate more it's what aiden's not communicating maybe enough right now and maybe aiden did call this but we're just going to assume that maybe we're not listening because that was something that we talked about earlier right if aiden says i'm out what's the play here if we can i think back, back out, up but a little bit try and disengage i don't know if that's possible right now but that in Hell theory no. is what we ought to be going for right so just kind of food for thought here like we want to be matching aiden's timing as much as we possibly can um I because I, I go ahead no, nothing. I was just up in my head screaming, don't know, don't know, don't yeah. in the corner because yeah, yeah, I yeah. thought I was going to. Yeah, 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 yeah. And even here, even here, should we really be pushing right now? No. Why? We're not because they can, put, they can push against me and the, uh, my supports can do nothing about it. Because right. we're all the way back there. Yeah. We're just not together. That's it, because everything that you guys could be doing here that actually makes sense, which is the Sombra pushing in, the Jungle Queen taking the next angle, there's no Lucio, there's no Ash. You guys needed to wait two seconds before you actually go. So yeah. on a defensive side of things, we put a lot of emphasis on um, you know, the ultimates and the setting up of the ultimates and, and giving more autonomy to you guys as individuals. But now it's coming back to, are we actually communicating when we're grouped up and when we're a unit and pushing as a unit? Because this play looks okay, but my Ash and Bap and Lucy are just are really not involved in this fight, and it's not their fault. Yeah. So whose fault is this? I want, I want fingers pointed. I want heads to roll. That's my fault. Um, okay. If you want to roll back the video like 10 seconds, I am in there so much further than anyone else because I'm confident with me and the Sombra. 
I shouldn't be because I have I don't have anything. I have an ability that lets me go in and kill myself without my supports. And then I end up wasting my shout to touch to touch <sighs> the cover that I could have done with the Lucio bat by myself. Pretty much. Isaac, Liam, you guys ever heard of like a choke collar? Like no. a leash? Yeah. yeah like put him on, okay. We need to put one on Sean occasionally, I think. Yeah. Oh, no. And, I mean, I'm talking about like the, the equivalent of shrieking in the mic. Wait! You know what I'm saying? Like, because this yeah. is like... That's it's also a thing we're working on for Xavier. He tends to rush in too far. Uh, yes. Right. I mean, that, that's a tank problem. Why do you guys think it's a tank problem? Are tanks players just stupid? No, nah, they got like 700 oh, they health. health. They feel invincible. True, well, true, I'm over, true. I'm, I'm confident in my supports and I have true. a lot of health. True. Where are your supports? So I, I uh, spin it around. I'm actually just so confident in you guys. I'm yeah, just so, look, at this, look at the suck up. Look at the you suck guys. up. You guys could heal through walls. Who would have thought? Um, but yeah, the real thing is that it's also that tanks generally don't have eyes in the back of their head. You guys can see everything. He can't. He's got people behind him. You guys don't have people behind him. So regardless, one of the other main things here is you guys have to be able to communicate. Wait, wait, wait. Because this is like this is depressing. In fact, we already burned Shout, and Aiden's already dead before we're even here. Oh my days. You guys are even doing a good job with your setups. Wait, no way. Did she just body block that? She actually pulled me back from it. She harpooned you, oh, son yeah, of no, a you're gun. Right. Oh, I screamed. I was so... Oh my... I was so mad. If only uh, there had been, like, you know, a Sombra there to distract, or an Ash <laughs> angle, or, like, you know, I don't know. Something else, guys. Uh, what do you guys reckon? Sean versus Superman. Who wins that 1v1? What? <laughs> I would have thought maybe maybe Batman. Sean, but I don't know. Uh, Batman? Yeah, that's probably Batman, true. What do they say? If you give Batman like six months don't of pre say, preparation, you can beat anybody? Me, don't put me... Street okay, I can live with Batman. Just don't put it at Punisher or something. Don't be street level. <laughs> Come on, man. Give me some dignity here. All right, wait, guys. Yeah, we no, might, choked, wait, 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 wait. Wait, we might have grouped up. Wait, hand. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. You guys see this? Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Hang on a second here. Oh no, look at this. Look, one and then two and then three and then four and then, whoa. What do you guys reckon? Do you guys reckon we maybe we win this? Oh yeah, Um, we might. <laughs> wow, who would have thought? I never would have expected that. I mean, I, we could freeze frame that and know we're going to win it, <laughs> you know, just because we actually had an actual setup for once. You guys get what I'm saying, right? Yes. Yeah. You know, and it's really, really simple. Like, obviously, it's just about the pre-fight stuff. You know, just call people to wait, you know, it's, it's not, not that deep. Okay, let's, uh, let's the, get going here. This is probably the roughest part of the entire match is sure, the second sure. point here. Now, I want to I wanna point out one more thing that we've actually talked about the defense at this exact same point as well. Do you notice how little we've talked about positional setups for your DPS and like tanks and supports and so on? No. I noticed. It's, it's really not really happened, right? That's a, that should be a good thing for you guys because it means that it's been good enough. It's been fine. Your Ash has been on angle. Summer has been setting up a back line. Supports have had reasonable cover usage and been spacing well. It's been all right. It's been all right. The positioning stuff has, been, has actually looked okay. It's actually looked okay, so that's good. Now, ults. Ults, 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 ults. How do we win this fight? Um, I'm kind of waiting on my ult to just I, run I down mid. When would you, what would you communicate here? I assume that you may or may not communicate this, so what would you communicate in the moment? Sending Bob behind um, you. Forcing them to push forward. Or okay. you may combo it with window. Okay, okay, okay. I like it, I like it. Unironically, good plans, but when would you do that? When they push uh, a little bit forward more. A little sure. earlier than this. No, I don't think so. Like, I disagree. Like, 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 I think we, I think... At least. I disagree with what waiting for them to push forward. They're not going to. I think we push forward. Um, you we think have so? Lucio and Shao. I think we push forward around the corner. Push sure. them back a little bit. Just sure. even, pushing them back even a little bit toward the Arisa is past the corner. Sure. And then that's when everything goes down because I, Ash can Ash can jump up with her gun, throw Bob. It goes over their heads, it hits a corner, probably hits the corner right next sure. to Diana, and then we use window to shred them. Yeah, I yep. think that could work. I, I I think I think Liam's plan is just more along the lines of like we don't need to necessarily engage now because Cart's moving for free, right? True. So we can true, wait, true. wait, 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 wait until they peek, and then we just use her ults. I think that would work too. Um, I'm but yeah, just scared I think, of peeking. I'm scared of waiting because Bastion. 
Right, well, but, but but the best way to deny Bastion value is to just hide. You know, you don't need to peek them at all. And then true. now when they're contesting, now we peek and we can push and use our ultimate. My bad, here. Liam's got big brains. I, yeah, seriously, I'm telling you guys. <laughs> give well, I, some respect. I I'm telling you, I'm learning, dude. You are learning. This is good I window. I think it matters less what our plan actually is and more that we just have one. Oh, uh, Isaac has got the biggest brain of all. And then don't say that. Here. Don't 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 boost the ego. He has too much. No 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 no. no, no. <laughs> I should have ulted that. I know that was bad ult. I know. I know it's bad ult. Terrible ult. Mm, um, yeah, that's okay. It's okay. It's still salvageable. Still salvageable. But <laughs> but for the but for the big brain here, we need uh we need Isaac to carry us. Isaac, how do we win this fight? Please help. Please, it must be now. Otherwise, we lose. Right? Because you know they're going to use their ultimates now. And what the frick is Isaac doing? Oh no. Because I, I, I get know. it. Like, like you, you look at this and you're like, I have a really good angle, right? Right? But Bob trumps everything usually, right? So you got to ask yourself, where can I set up this Bob? Well, no, no that's that's kind of scary because they have Bash and Arissa. Don't they just shred Bob? I mean, maybe. Then Bob is a distraction and allows you to get out for jail free or shoot a target for free, right? True. Well, I think you know? at that point, I was just like thinking the fight's lost. Makes sense. Makes commit. sense. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's stop there, and let's actually take some notes. Where should I drop notes? Should I drop them in your DMs, Sean, or just put them in uh, OW just Red? Dro drop them DM. I'll 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 pack all right, them all right, and put them right, in the main chat. All right, all right. Sounds good. What do you guys think are priorities to practice? Comms, definitely. Comms. What about comms? Because you guys, everybody already knew that comms were an issue, right? But we we need to be more specific of what. Oh, uh, planning ultimates, planning your engagements, planning your defenses. Okay, so we, planning. We need, plan, we need ultimates to actually when? have micro. Uh, we were decent in macro comms, but we need to play micro comms, which are about the abilities, how we use them, when we use them, when we use them. Baptiste, you know, where does Baptiste ball go? Where do, when, oh, uh, uh, Sean, uh, you're going to use your ult when they go through this choke, et cetera, et cetera. Make decisions with ultimates. Okay. Planning ultimates. Okay. Um, calling timing of pushes. And saying no when you are not ready. Looking at you. No. Uh -huh. So hurtful. Yeah, uh, very hurtful. Yes. Um, let's see here. Oh, Aiden. Aiden communicating uh, aggro as well. That needs to be that needs to be a priority of practice. All right. Remember the mental game. One guy has responsibility to start, folks. The refocus when mental boomed. Elect one person. Start the reverse snowball. Take turns. So you guys remember that, right? First thing we talked about, our first goal that we set. Remember? Mm -hmm. Weekly focus manager, whatever you guys want to do. Somebody has to be able to reverse that. Um, uh, da -da 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 -da. Don't. I can make that happen. We already have a lot of roles that we do. Like, we already work with roles, so that's fine. Responsibility. How does that look, Sean? Did we miss anything there? Planning ultimates, calling timing of push-ins, Aiden's communicating aggro, mental game, one guy's responsibility to start the refocus, and so on. Sean delegates ultimate responsibility. Anything I, else that you guys come up with? I think you might have forgotten a duct pun, but that's about it. Hmm. Other than that. Anything, good. guys? Um, did you put plan ahead in there? Uh, yes. Yes. First thing. Okay. First, one first on thing, first thing, and that's a big one. That that one's honestly a fun one because the thing is, is when you, you have Bob, what can you do with Bob? Oh, oh, oh my days! So honestly, many things you can do I, with I'm Bob. I'm thinking of a couple you know? of ways I could probably just work on that out of the game. Like I could probably just pull up screenshots, and be like, "What would you do in this situation?" I could probably yeah. do that. Yeah, that's a good one to practice because that's try, the biggest thing to too. Way, trying to think of other ways to practice some of these things that isn't like, okay, let's play a game, guys," because sometimes you don't always have time to play games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I think that all of this stuff, crucially, is practicable and quickly. Everything, every single one of these guys. Every next, single one of these Next things. season, we're going to be rolling the comp ladder because they're allowing everyone to come in no matter what and play comp. But until then, yeah, I think this was great. Yeah, okay. Any questions, y'all? No. Mm, nothing really. Okay. Right okay.